Okay. See, I got to get my head right for this one, y'all. Because my head is not in a good space. Not after, not after reading this article right here. Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys making the Lockout Man podcast show your favorite podcast to listen to. Thank you very much. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and shout out to my man, That Diddy Dude, for sending me this article right here. A Michigan father, man, killed his two-year-old daughter because of child support. He was ordered to pay $167 in child support payments because he had so much resentment of the courts and the baby's moms and all like that. Shot and killed this little girl in the back and then turned the gun to himself and tried to kill himself, but it didn't work. He missed the mark. So now, this past February, he had, he had to, you know, he went to court. The judge had to clear out the courtroom because of so much commotion that was going on. Emotions flared with everybody that's involved. You know, I, I did not want to say anything about the baby's moms, but ladies, I don't know. You, you just might have to start doing some background checks on these dudes, man. Cat. Just got out of prison in twenty in twenty twelve. They said that he was a model prisoner. Like he was cool. He was okay. But unfortunately, he was charged with murder from shooting his daughter, Santina Santina Parts, twenty six. Shot and killed the baby girl after she was dropped off at the house by the moms. And Bria was supposed to come back and get her daughter on Wednesday. On Wednesday, she dropped her baby off Monday and was supposed to come and pick the baby up on Wednesday. But then she got a call from the cops and everything went to shit. Tried to shoot himself, but he, again, like I said, he missed the mark. I don't know what was the motive, but a paternity test confirmed that he was the father of the little girl. You are the father. Judge ordered him to pay $176 a month in child support. Girl said that she wasn't, she was upset about that, but not enough to make her worry about her daughter's safety. Again, he was paroled after he was released from prison back in 2012 of armed robbery, a history of weapons violation, and domestic violence. Say he could face up a life in prison. No, he should be buried under the jail. Let's go to the, let's go to the news report, please. Toddler's father is being charged with murder in her death. Wyoming police say 26-year-old Sunite Parks shot and killed Khalees Brewer on Wednesday night at his home on Meyer Avenue. Parks was arraigned this afternoon at a local hospital and has no bond. Our Carla Byron has been following this story and Carla police say Parks has a violent past. Yeah, Kirk, we learned he was currently on parole after serving six years in prison for an armed robbery charge he got when he was 16 years old. I learned he was doing fairly well as a parolee. Wyoming police say two-year-old Khalees Brewer was with her father, 26-year-old Sinente Parks, for a temporary visit at his home. Police found Khalees in the same room as Parks, suffering from a deadly gunshot wound. Parks was suffering from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This individual was uh, first sentenced to prison back in 2013. MDOC's website shows Parks was sentenced for armed robbery in Grand Rapids. He was charged when he was only 16. 
He was paroled in January 2019, however. After he was released, uh, he was found to be in possession of a weapon. And at that time, the parole board uh, opted to return him back to prison for that violation uh, for a period of one year. He was paroled again on January 2021, and Gout says he was performing fairly well. He was employed, had no positive drug tests, and had constant communication with his agent. He did have a um, domestic violence um, allegation against him that had police involved back uh, last summer. Uh, unfortunately, the witness um, or the, the victim, I'm sorry, uh, in that case uh, did not cooperate with the authorities. And so I don't believe any new charges were filed uh, in that case. Because of this, Parks was enrolled in virtual domestic violence programming, but he was removed because he stopped attending a week or so ago. Why this shooting happened still has yet to be answered. Parks is also being charged with two counts of carrying a firearm while committing a felony, possessing a firearm as a felon and discharging in a building causing death. Parks could face up to life in prison and he's scheduled to be back in court on February 23rd. Val, thank you. OK, so this is this sad to report, man, a beautiful baby girl. Her life was snuffed from her because this dude didn't want to pay one hundred and sixty seven dollars. Hey, bro, you could have came into the industry, my bro. You could have got your CDL. You could have got with a company that would take felons on. And you could have made a nice little life for you and your daughter. No, you, you want to take the punk route. You want to take your daughter out and take yourself with her. Fortunately, you didn't do it right, bro. What you supposed to have it close to the temple and bam. Put it up under put it up under your uh, up under your chin. Bam. Or put it close to the heart. That'll be done. Bam. You got plenty of time to think about that, but let me tell you something. With the, it, them them hard them them hard rock guys. Not cool on baby killers, man. I don't know much about prison, but I know enough that they're not cool on baby killers. Bro, you got plenty of time to think about what you did because you ain't going nowhere. Not fair for this little, this little lady right here to be gone and you still here thinking about it. But if you don't want the kids, don't lay down and have them. If you don't want them, don't lay down and have them. Bros, if you don't want kids because you're thinking with your little, with your little head, you better wrap that motherfucker up tight. Or just don't lay down at all. And ladies, to say this, you, you might have to do a background check on these fellas, man. You didn't see the sign. He didn't see it. Fortunately, her baby paid the price for it. That's it. That's all. I'm done. You guys, yo, thank you for making the Lockout Man podcast show your favorite podcast to listen to. The best conversation starts over here on the Lockout Man podcast show. If you guys have anything you want me to watch, have any questions or anything, uh, anything of that matter, 216-600-2090. Get at your boy. Stay tuned for the next video. Y'all stay safe. Rest in peace to this little baby girl.